Hello everyone. Welcome to Tinkercad tutorial series 3. So th this is the third video of the Tinkercad tutorial. In the past two videos we talked about what is Tinkercad, how to get started with it and what are its uses. And in the second video we talked about what are the components available and we even designed a simple circuit. And in this video we will be looking into the Arduino facilities available in the platform. We will be checking out the circuits available in the platform and we will be understanding how a Arduino project circuit works in the platform. So let's get started. So this is the Arduino platform in the Tinkercad. So here from the component lifts I have just chosen Arduino. So in the Arduino list you can see there are a lot of already available options so there is a breadboard plus Arduino this is a simple combo circuit on which you can start building the projects you wish this is a blink project we'll be seeing how this works in the platform and then there is a circuit here fade fade is nothing but the light glows from the brighter to lower there is a button how to use the button that information is also given here there are uh, circuits like debounce analog input digital read serial so it gives a lot of information for the beginners who are just learning how to use Arduino and how to write codes for the different sensors or different situations this helps you out so you can check out the options available in the site already so they have even told you how to interface with an led or how to interface with a ultrasonic range sensor and there are uh, buzzers how to interface with a buzzer and they have given small examples with that too so this is a great way for learning for the beginners now let's check out how to for us in a simple circuit like a blink which is the basics for any Arduino circuit how this works here so this is the Arduino Uno in the platform available. So an LED is connected. One end of the LED, the cathode end of the LED is connected to the ground and the anode is connected with 13 pin. This 13 pin is a digital pin. It is connected with a resistor in series with it. So to make this run, we have to write the code. To write code, you can just click on the code here. So as you can see, you might be one some of you might not be knowing how to write code in blocks so you can just go here and click on text it will just ask you a are you sure dialog box so you can just click on continue and you will see the normal text code available so in this normal text code let's check the code written already so in the setup us will be using only one device component here which is led through which we'll be seeing output so we'll be writing pin mode 13 output and we want the led to work as a blink that means we want first it to glow then switch off glow switch off with a few seconds of time delay so in the loop void loop function we have written digital write 13 high so 13 pin there will be instruction of high so this glows instead of high you can write even one and there is a delay of thousand milliseconds so this is nothing but thousand milliseconds which is one second so again digital write 13 low so we'll switch off the led 13 low and there will be another delay of thousand so this cycle keeps repeating until you stop the stimulation so this is the circuit we have designed for the blink so let's check that so i'll click on start stimulation now you can see the LED is glowing within every one second delay it switches on and off switches on and off so this was a success and you can also check out the already available other circuits here and you can check how it works you can learn how the how to interface with various components so I hope this video was useful for you and you will be interested in learning and doing your own project in the platform. Thank you.